Happy Halloween, my lovelies! So, uh, usually every year Joe and I go to a Halloween party and uh, neither one of the parties we attend uh, happened this year. So I actually was prepared for a change and had our costumes and stuff pre-ordered and ready to go. And now we're not going. So, uh, but you guys know I always dress for my trick-or-treaters. So, um, this is one of those cases where I'm going to go ahead and wear my costume. And then next year, you're just going to see it again. <laughs> uh, you know, when, when Halloween party time comes and then Joe and I will match. Um, yeah, so uh, my idea this year was to uh, go as ch 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 chia people. You know, uh, you know, Christmas every year you guys see Chia Pets, right? It's like the little terracotta thing and you spread the, the seed goop on and then all of a sudden, you know, those pretty green, you know, plant grows out and you got a Chia Pet. Uh, they also do Chia People, where it's like you get a little bald head and you put the paste on and then the hair grows out crazy. So that was my idea. So, you know, I got us the green wigs and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, we didn't... There were no Halloween parties uh, for us this year. So instead, I'm just going to do it for my trick-or-treaters. Hopefully they'll get it. I did slightly debate going for, like, female Joker instead. Um, but this will give me a chance to try out, you know, and work out the kinks so that it'll be perfect next year. And it'll be fun for us. So um, for my skin, I've got to, like, take my makeup off and put my hair up and all that uh, uh, which I'll do off camera, you guys. But for my skin, I got uh, Foxy and Orange from uh, Mayron. You guys know I really like the Mayron makeup. I figured between these two, I should be able to approach some sort of terracotta color. Uh, and then I'm going to contour and do makeup because this Chia lady is still going to look like a lady. Um, but yeah. So uh, let me get all this off. Oh, BT Dubs, uh, if you follow me on Instagram um, or Facebook. Uh, I finally got my bangs to side sweep, mostly, uh, but you know, they're thin, like y'all. I can see you through them, no problem. So I've been, I've been debating um, just oh, about this much more, cutting that much more, so I've got like a little bit thicker bit, so that when my hair's up, it's still pretty when it's down, um, if I want. To do it, you know, in the middle, I can actually blow dry them so I get both sides, which is also nice because I did, this is like all the way where my natural part is. I just took all of the hair. So I'm debating. I think I'm gonna. Um, it's all Lucy's fault. <sighs> Remember I told you about her, her bits that she leaves on the sides? Yeah, so I think I'm gonna. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I mean, this is fine. And they're still thin. I mean, they still go back. No problem. It's me. I'm used to that by now. But I just want them a little, a little thicker. Um, but I like them. They're, they're fun. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let me, uh, let me wash my face. And uh, I'll go ahead and put my hair up so it's all done. And then we'll start putting on makeup and seeing how this transformation goes. All right, duh. I love editing. Snippy, snippy. Right, dolls, uh, hair's all up. Uh, I do have my wig cap, but I'm not putting it on until I get the makeup done. Um, yeah, I'm moisturized. ET dubs. You know I'm of an age. So I'm trying out some uh, Olay Regenerist because it has such good reviews. Uh, and my gram uses it. And I used it when I was at her house, and I like it. Um, and I was... I finally ran out of my Aveeno. <laughs> so I figured, let's try this and see if my wrinkles like it. Any hoodles, I put that on just because uh, I always put moisturizer on before I put makeup on. I was debating a primer, but I don't think... I'm just going to pretend this is a primer. So uh, I've got a knockoff uh, beauty sponge. Hmm, one of the cheapies. And uh, I think we'll start with the, actually the darker base. And I'll put light over top of it if I need to. Um, the Mayron uh, paint, they uh, you have to get it wet. Um, I mean, it's, you know, whatever color it is. But it goes on better if it's 
damp and I need to be a little damper than this. Um, just to really get this nice and gooey. So yeah, I'm gonna do with the darker first because I figure I can use the lighter for highlights. So yeah, that's definitely, I had ordered this one first just by going, uh, this is the Foxy by looking online at the, you know, the pictures that they show. And this looked right, but then when I got it, I was so terrified that it would end up being more brown than orange. And you guys, this chick is not about going blackface, if you know what I mean. Um, I definitely wanted it to be, you know, orange, like Cheetos. Um, so yeah, this does actually seem to be terracotta colored, like I wanted it to be, so that makes me happy. Um, now it did say that any of the reds or oranges, you shouldn't do them around your eyes, which I'm going to blatantly disregard and do anyway, but oh well. <laughs> so let me get this coat down. The thing with this, you see, you can see every little, um, you don't really want to, you see how it streaks? So you really got to dab and finesse putting this on. So it's going to take a little while and I am just going to do the whole thing. I don't have to really worry about my ears because my wig is going to cover them. Um, but I'm going to do my chest and I'm going to do my hands, although I will probably do those right before trick or treat. Um, because I don't want to be going around with paint. Well, I'll do them last anyway. Let's just do it that way. All right, let me get this down and if I highlight with the lighter color, I'll let you know how that went. We may experiment. I may try it, hate it, and then go back on with some of this. But uh, let me get my base down, and I'll be right back with you in a minute. And, yes, I am going over my eyebrows. Uh, I'm going to take a green eyeshadow and make them green. All right. Back in a second. Alrighty. So I'm almost done with uh, the orange, actually. Uh, I have a couple of places I need to touch up a little bit, but I thought I'd show you this in case you don't know this, this is how this works. Um, so uh, I have, you know, my layer on and then I powder and brush it off and you put another layer on and then you powder and brush it off. You build it slowly and then we'll seal it with a Mayron sealer. Yay! I have a brand new bottle of this too, just in case I need it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to add a little bit more to the couple of spots that... It is really hard for me to achieve like an even skin tone. It looks like I'm actually picking it up instead of putting it down. Maybe it's not wet enough. There we go. Um, yeah, even skin tone for me is really difficult. <laughs> um, not on my face. I do decent on my face. Um, I'm going to go to the other side here and go for the lighter color, which I have been using. Um, and I just did lighter, you know, in my T-zone. Like, if you've ever contoured your face, you're going to know where the lighter goes. My nose. Um, cheekbones, up under my eyes, bring them out. <laughs> I gotta say the orange is nice though, look how blue my eyes are. Um, I just, you know, don't want to have to resort to this every day. But you see how it, I've got a little more depth. I am going to go with a brown, actually, over this. Uh, but we'll do light on the top of the jawline because I will go darker right underneath of it, like so. So, yeah, it's not so bad. So, like all that, so we've got all that on. Gonna, we're gonna set it. So what I do is I just get, I just use baby powder um, to set because it works great. So uh, you put it in a sock and then you just tie it off. So in the toe of this sock is baby powder. All right, I'm gonna lean back because I'm wearing black and then you just dab. Try 
try not to inhale too much. Good layer. <sighs> Fluffy brush. Uh, I think this is the Bare Minerals Flawless Radiance brush. I don't, I'm not a beauty guru, you guys. And then you just brush off the excess. And then it sits, sits, it sets your makeup. You can do this with any sort of stage makeup, but I do know after doing the Frankenstein last year, working with the green, that this works great. So let me get all the powder off, break out the kit, and then uh, we'll see if I can't make me pretty on top of orange. <laughs> um, yeah, as soon as all my powder is off, I'm going to spray myself down pretty well with the uh, um, Mayron Fixing Spray. Uh, I get all my Mayron, it's Barrier Spray, Sealant, Fixative, doo -doo -doo. I get all this stuff off Amazon. I like Mayron. Uh, I'm new to get this from watching Made You Look all these years. And uh, it just seemed like of all of her colors that she works with all of her makeups and paints and things this one seemed the easiest and it really is so uh let me spray myself down and break out the kit and see if we can't make ourselves pretty on top of orange yay Alrighty, first things first we're getting the green brows going just using an eyeshadow brush and eyeshadow and I'm just kind of going one of these with all the colors. Um, I'm just trying to get it in there. Uh, I'm not looking for perfection. But it's a green eyebrow, so that'll work much better than no eyebrows, which just looks super funky. Um, <laughs> I had debated uh, gluing down my brows and doing, you know, like, drag brows and really fancy eye makeup. Um, but my wig has bangs, so it's not really necessary. Um, if I had worn a different wig, maybe. So, but this, I think, will be fine. Ugh, it's not awesome there. The nice thing about setting is that if you mess up, you can brush off without getting the orange off um, and once I get the booty makeup on uh, I will spray again with the Mayron to fix it. It is really an excellent uh, fixative for makeup so like I don't know like you might debate getting it for your wedding day. This stuff <laughs> a prom or something yeah it it works really well. I don't know it looks good enough to me for brows. Now we get to do pretty eyes. Uh, I am going to use uh, something light up under. Alright, I want something light up under my eyes, but I am orange. So, what would light be? Usually I'd use a white. We're going to go with a white first, and then I'll put color over it if need be. But I don't think I will. I think that'll be fine. You know, you got to enhance the brow bone. <laughs> so, white up top, just to give me a little bit of lightness over top. This is not what you'd call good uh, eyeshadow. Um, it's not like Urban Decay or anything like that. So it's not that highly pigmented stuff. You really gotta layer, layer, layer to get any sort of color. That's okay, because now we're gonna go with Too Faced, which is high quality. Um, yeah, this is e.l.f. So it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just... Not, you know, one of the the big ones, I guess. Okay, let's see. Well, I use that for green, so let's put that aside so that I can wash that out. Um, this, which, which palette is this? The Natural Eye. Yeah, I've, I've not had it forever. I always hit pan in the lightest shades. Always. Um, I don't know, maybe this part of my eyebrow, or my eye is just huge. It's whatever. Okay, so. Hmm. I don't know, let's go copper. What am I using? Push up. I like the bra. So we'll do 
copper on the eyelid. I figured we'd go for like a natural. <laughs> As I'm orange, we'll go for a natural sort of uh, look. You know, like like if I was actually a terracotta lady, um, the makeup I would put on instead of you know like blue or purple or what have you. I figured we'd go for what I think of as, you know, more of a natural look. All right, there we go. I am gonna put some sparkle in a moment. First, need this. Going in with Cocoa Puff, which is the sparkle. I feel like a beauty guru. I've been watching a lot of Tati. Tatiana Westbrook lately. I love her. So, yeah, we're doing, I guess, kind of a smoky eye, whatever. Or as I always call it, my standard. Where are we? Go in the crease. I just think it's a good definition for your eye. So, you know, that's me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right. Like, am I going to wear eyeliner and stuff today? I don't think so. Um, well, I think I'll do eyeliner. Maybe just a coal. But, like, I don't think I'm going to wear lashes today. I think I'm just going to go more natural. <laughs> As I'm orange! Isn't this hilarious? I don't know. I'm finding this to be incredibly amusing, if only to myself. Um, yeah. All right, let me blend. I'll put on, that's, that's our booty, booty portion. Uh, I'm gonna blend. Um, I am gonna take a bronzer and like finish contouring. I'll do all the bronzy bits, everything. Basically, I, when I see you, when I snap my fingers, uh, I'll have, I'll be done. And I'll have my wig on and the whole shebang. So uh, that makes it a lot faster for us. Uh, the hardest thing for me is gonna pick which Look how white my teeth are. Uh, <laughs> which lipstick we're going to go with today? Probably a dark red, I think. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's see how it all turned out. You ready? One, two, three. Alrighty. There we are. I'm a Chia person. Or a really glamorous Oompa Loompa, maybe. Uh, I was going for Chia. Chia, 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 Chia. Uh, only, you know, with, we should put some butterflies in this, I think. Sell that, you know, I'm definitely a plant. Uh, I got Joe the more traditional, uh, super duper curly wig, but I wanted to kind of differentiate and not have us looking like twins, so mine is more like Rosanna, Rosanna Dana. Only some of you will get that reference, uh, it's a Gilda Radner SNL thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to put some butterflies in this. As I want to. Um, let's just do pretty, pretty stuff. Maybe we can put some spiders in too. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's my, that's my, my Halloween deal. That's what my idea was. I don't know. I don't know if it was a good idea. It's an idea. Maybe I'll switch it up and I'll be something different next year. Who knows? My, uh, my taste, sir ever-changing. Uh, it is just the way of things. <laughs> so, uh, what do you guys? Well, I suppose maybe you guys already did yours, uh, what you went as for a uh, Halloween. Maybe you already did it. You probably already did. Uh, you probably went to Halloween parties and whatnot this weekend. I put my big spider in. See, I don't want to be creepy though. Today is, this is not creepy Halloween this year. It's Cute, cute Halloween. Um, colors am I missing? Put a couple more in. And then I'll be done. Chia, 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 chia. Chia, 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 chia. I don't know. Do you guys think it was? I don't know if it was a good idea or not. But it was my idea and I did it. So there we go. Um, you have to let me know what you think. So uh, I guess I'll take some pictures and then we'll edit to all that happy stuff. I know I haven't done my hands yet. Like I said, I'm going to wait until trick-or-treaters are here. Or I might just wear gloves so I don't have to do my hands because I'm lazy. 
Anyways, uh, I do love this wig. But you see what I was saying when I debated just doing like Lady Joker? Mm. It would work. Like, I love this wig. It's beautiful. As always, my wig came from Amazon. Um, I really like this one though. I think it's so pretty. Um, it's just a shorty. But I love this giant like 80s hair looking hair. It's fun. So, uh, anyways, I will see you guys very soon, actually. Uh, I had an idea for a bun. <gasps> oh my goodness, really? Yeah, and it's a low one, which is bizarre. I know, I never do low buns, but I have an idea. So, um, what's today, Wednesday? Now I have fallout Thursday. I mean, not on Friday though. We'll see, one of the days this week is a non-fallout day. You guys, Fallout's in beta, Fallout 76 is in beta, and I've played every single beta. I will continue to do so. Uh, sorry guys, it's like holidays for me. So, um, but one of these days is not, and I'll film it on that day. Can I do this anymore? Oh, by the way, isn't this pretty? I know we're all random, right? Okay, hold on, I gotta get some cold water. This is that color change stuff. This is the prettiest color, I've had it for a while. Never tried it. <laughs> that happens sometimes. There. Now it's cold. But see, it's like this cool, like, purple duochrome, and then it goes to, like, this turquoise. I think that's really pretty. Um, it's already shifting because I'm hot. Uh, right here. The worst part. You see that? That kills me. It's the only place I sweat everything off in a hot flash. My lips sweat so bad. Anyways, um, yeah. So I will see you guys very soon. I uh, hope you have a very happy Halloween. I know usually I show you the puppies in their outfits, um, but I'm just gonna take pictures. Um, actually, only one person got a new outfit this year and it's Murphy and he has a unicorn outfit from Gray. So. Any hoodles. All right, uh, I gotta go make dinner like this. <laughs> oh well. Um, so I will see you guys very soon. I think I said that 20 times already. Anyways, happy Halloween! I love you guys. Um, yeah, have a great evening. <laughs> Bye.